Rồi, xin mời phần thuyết trình của nhóm 1 ạ. Hi everyone. Today we will talk about basic motivational concepts in chapter 11. Our group is group 1 and including 8 members. Trần Anh Tú, Lê Khánh Hạ, Nguyễn Thị Nam, Phạm Thị Hoài, Nguyễn Phương Anh, Nguyễn Duy Phương, Ngô, Ngô Khánh Linh and Nguyễn Thúy Quỳnh. We will help on you guys answer two questions. The first one is how do psychologists define motivation? And the second one is from what perspective do they view motivated behavior? And now I'm Hoi will show you guys answer the first question, how do psychologists define motivation? Motivation is defined by psychologists as the process of initiating, directing, and maintaining activity in order to meet specific needs. Needs can be psychological, for example, needing for validation, or physical, for example, needing food. The idea is that motivation is what drives us to achieve our objectives. Our motivation arise from the interplay between nature, the bodily push, and nurture, the pulls from our personal experiences, thoughts, and culture. Our motives drive our behavior. And here are some the most common examples of motivation in life. And next is to be more specific for the above seven example, going to work because you want to earn money, studying because you want to get a, a good grade, having others because you hope for price, going to the same store because you benefit from loyal programs, cleaning your apartment because you do not want your partner to get mad, going to new places because you want to party on social media, pursuing a certain degree because you want to make your parents proud, or going on a business trip because you were ordered by your boss to do so. The next question, Phương Anh, Khánh Linh, and Duy Phương will have on you guys answers. Thank you, Hoài. And the second part of our presentation, discuss about from what perspective do they view motivated behavior? In the attempt to understand motivated behavior, psychologists have viewed it from pro perspective The first day, intrinsic theory, now replaced by the evolutionary perspective, focuses on genetically predisposed behaviors. The second is drive reduction theory, focuses on how we respond to our inner process. Arousal theory focuses on finding the right level of stimulation. Abraham Maslow hierarchy of needs focuses on the priority of some needs over others. My talk will be in two parts, that is intrinsic theory and drive reduction theory. So I start with intrinsic theory. The intrinsic theory popular during the early 20th century, the intrinsic theory of motivation show that behavior is driven by intrinsic. Intrinsic are pattern of behaviors that are fit and inborn. However, many more behavior are driven by a combination of physiological and psychological ones. William James Sigmund Freud and William McDowell prospered a number of basic human drives that motivate behavior. This intrinsic may include biological intrinsic that are important to the survival of organisms such as fear, cleanliness, and love. Let me give you some example. Before winter, certain birds migrate south. Dogs stick their talk out when they're hot. We young out hand away when we talk or hostile by accident. Salmon swimming upstream to lay eggs. Sucking and roasting reflexes in baby. Now we we'll look at dry reduction theory. Physiological needs cause an aroused tension state that motivate an organism to set Start satisfy the need. The drive theory of motivation poses that people are motivated to the take certain action in order to reduce the internal tension that is caused by unmet needs. 
For example, you might be motivated to drink a glass of water in order to reduce the internal state of thirst. Drive theory depends on the idea of homeostasis or the possibility that the body effectively keeps a specific condition of equilibrium or harmony. Behavior such as hunger or thirst that have a strong biological or physiological component can be explained by this theory. In opposition to the dry theory of motivation, this behavior are not always motivated solely by drive or merely by the state of tension or arousal caught by a biological or physiological needs. For example, people usually eat even when they aren't hungry. We take a look at a drive reduction theory figure. Drive reduction motivation arises from homeostasis an organism natural tendency to maintain a steady internal state, or we know in case we're lacking in water, our third drink earth to drink and re-establish the body ordinary state. Not only are we pushed out by our need to reduce drive, we are also pulled by incentive positive or negative environment stimuli that entitle or repel us. Whenever we are exposed to stimuli, our underlying drive become active imposed. The more the motivate are fulfilled and built up, the more grounded drive might turn into. And now in the next part, my teammate Anne will talk about Rollo theory. Thanks, Feng. Arousal theory. Arousal, the activation of the brain and the body, step of readiness so what so that we are prepared to engage in a type behavior in the con in the context of psychology arousal is the step of being psycho physically less awake and attentive arousal is a primarily controlled by the reticular activating System rust in the brain. The rust is a local in the brain stem and a project to many other brain areas, including the cortex. You can think of the reticular activating system as a peg micro for arousal. When the stick team slow down, you might feel lethargic. Lethargic, sleepy, or had difficulty concentrating on things. When the system speed up, you might feel high active, be alive, and be ready to respond a different thing in the environment. Two primary arousal system, cortical arousal system, arousal brain sick teams, autonomic nervous sick team arousal the body. There are two sick teams often function independently to convert energy and reduce wear and thirst on the body. There are sick team their sick team are activated or limited Terrors of arousal. The arousal is a degree of psychological arousal head formation, but, but only to a point. Optimum level of arousal depends on the difficulty the, of the task. Each person has an optimum level of stimulation they like to maintain. The express or arousal can be either positive, positive or negative. High arousal can cause us to worry, become anxious with the negative if it isn't controlled. Raising arousal level can also cause a step of readiness to perform this late, late a positive aspect can in high performance see. And next question is with Fung. 
Okay, thank you for thank you Kenny for introducing me. And now we will talk about Abraham Maslow. Abraham Maslow higher hierarchy of needs. Abraham Maslow 1908-1970, humanistic psychologist who proposed the hierarchy of needs with self-actualization as one of the unit unimate psychological need. He suggested that some people are willing to tolerate pain, hunger, and other kind of tension to achieve their artistic or political or personal goal. The hierarchy of needs. Maslow pyramid of human need, beginning as a base with the phys with physiological need, need that must be safety before higher level safety need, and then physical need, physical logical need become active. Continually higher level need won't become active until lower level need have be safety fine. According to Maslow. An unimate psychological need that arise after basic physical and psychological need are meet and self if them is achieved. The motivation to rely our full and unique potential. Abraham Maslow said, "We are motivated by need, and all need are not a create equal. We are driven to safety the lower level need first. He suggested." that people are striving to fulfill their capacity for self-actualization. Self-actualization refer to the need to become what one believes he or she is capable for, of being. This takes a person part the simple point and satisfying physical need. Maslow thought that striving to become something or to do something meaningful is one life is, is essential for humans that is all for our presentation thank you you guys for your time and listening okay thank you group one so now um uh, uh other groups uh please uh, give them the, some comments or questions please 